All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to building crazy things, because that's what we do on this channel. I have a hickory slab right here. I have wallet in the back. We're gonna put them together and make a sophisticated nightstand. So let's get into this build right now. All right, so starting out with the slab, what I have to do is bring my track saw over, and I'm gonna start cutting a 20 degree angle on both sides. It's gonna be about 24 inches long for the top of the nightstand. And then the walnut's gonna be the side of the legs and that's gonna be a 70 degree angle. So I'm gonna figure that out on my table saw and stand it up and make some type of fence system so that I don't kill myself. So. guys so I took the walnut out of our wood stash it's over there against the wall so what I'm gonna be doing is cutting this down to 30 inches two slabs running it through my drum sander at three quarter inches thick and then I'll be cutting the angle that 70 degree angle on the table saw for the next step on this project I did finish up sanding all the boards on that drum sander. So these two walnut pieces are three quarter inches thick. So I'll be taking these over to the table saw right now to cut the 70 degree angle. So what I have right here is a fence to clamp to. So I'll be taking this board, standing it up just like this and taking my six inch clamps and clamping it to this fence. My fence is locked down where it needs to be so I can cut this angle right here. up those angles on the table saw so I jumped over here I got to cut these panels down to the exact size which is gonna be 28 inches because that's the height of the nightstand so I can't use my crosscut slide on my table saw so I'm gonna be using my uh, track saw right here because I'm gonna be pulling my numbers off of the edge that I cut on the table saw because I have no straight edges on the sides of these boards so I pulled my number from the edge back 28 inches the two marks, I'll line up my track with those lines and just start cutting. We did get this all clamped up, ready to go. As always, it's very hectic when clamping up projects because it never goes the way you want it to go, but we did get it done. So tomorrow I'll be taking all these clamps off the project and getting it done. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, it's the next day. So what we have to do is take all the clamps off this project, start sanding it. And I also have to cut this with the Festool track saw in the back because there's an extra piece right here. So I gotta make sure it's flush. my Japanese handsaw I'm gonna be taking this and cutting this corner right here to be flush with this slab basically and then this side too this is all gonna be the walnuts gonna be basically part of the slab so I'm gonna cut that right now it's time to cut the bow ties out for this top piece of this nightstand I'm gonna be using purple heart for two bow ties One's be going right here on this crack. One's going on this crack right here. I cut a piece out of pine for the template. So what I'm gonna be doing is cutting the pieces on the table saw for little tiny squares, taking this piece, tracing it out on there, cutting it on the bandsaw, then taking the purple heart piece, putting it on the top, tracing that out, taking my router and a chisel to gouge out the top so that that purple heart piece fits right inside. Okay, 
so what I did is I cut out those bow ties on the bandsaw. I finished those up. All I have to do now is sand the, uh, the sides and make them perfect. And then what I'm gonna be doing is placing them on the top and tracing them out and then taking my router and routering out the majority of it and then taking my chisel and for the fine tuning. So let's get this thing done. These bow ties are both cut, so what I'm gonna do is start sanding this up, getting it ready so that I can put a drawer in here. I'm gonna be using a limbo wood for the drawer. I don't know what I'm doing for the bottom yet, but here we go. All right guys, so I threw my nightstand up on my horses. I threw a clamp on it so that it's the same dimension from, the, from this panel to this panel all the way up. So it's 22 and 9 16 these legs were a little flared out, that's why the clamp's on it. So I'm gonna jump over to my uh, metal vise, cut some one inch tube steel, and make a metal frame for the bottom of this thing. So let's get it done. Okay guys, so I cut all the tube steel for that metal frame for the nightstand. I have two pieces sitting right here that I made some layout marks for holes so that I can drill out the holes now, weld up the frame so I don't have to worry about it later. So I'm gonna have a 3 16 bit in here and a countersink bit. So let's drill out these holes. Guys, next step on this process is I took my grinder and I grinded all the corners with a regular uh, cutoff wheel. I'm gonna be changing it out to a uh, wire brush and I'm just gonna wire brush the entire thing and get it prepped for some paint. Okay guys, so I did paint all this. It's all dry now, so what I'm gonna be doing is taking it over to the drill press and drilling some more holes so that it can insert a panel on the top. Hey guys, so I have the metal frame installed. So what I'm working on right now is the wood panel to insert into the metal frame. So let's get this thing made. I'm making out of limbo wood and a walnut strip's gonna be down the middle. So let's get this thing done. The shelf is in, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump on building the drawer. So building the drawer, the box is gonna be walnut and the face of the uh, drawer is gonna be limba. So right here I have three quarter inch stock walnut. I'm gonna be cutting it down to 22 and, uh, 22 and a quarter inches for the front and the back and 13 and a half inches on the sides. So what I'm gonna be using is a Blum undermount hardware. So it's gonna be mount on just like so. 
and then it's got a quick release which is connected to the bottom of the drawer so that you can just squeeze the trigger to release it whenever you want to. So I'm gonna start making these right now. I'm gonna be using a dovetail jig to make half blinds, half blind dovetails in the front and in the back. So I set up the dovetail jig. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So here's my side piece. I'm gonna match up B with B with the front of the drawer. So I'm gonna slide the side piece in right here. Bumps up to the rail system, lock that down. Now match up B, I'm gonna keep the face down. I wrote it on here so I do not forget. Match it up, make sure it's square. And that hits a black bar over here so that it lines up both of them. I'm gonna clamp this down. Now I have a bushing in my router that will ride along these ribs right here. It's a dovetail bit. And then when I finish cutting, it's gonna turn out like this. slipped on me because I forgot to clamp it down on the jig. So what I did is I just made some regular rabbits for the back. Dovetails are in the front. You're not gonna see the back when you pull out the drawer. So that's a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is start gluing this up, and get it all prepped so I can route out and rabbit the bottom so I can put a bottom piece in. I started prepping the top of this because I'm waiting for that to dry, the other panel for the drawer. I vacuumed out all the dust. I scraped out all the little loose pieces and everything like that. So I'm gonna start, I've never used this epoxy before. It was pretty cheap, it was like 17 bucks. So it's got two parts. I'm gonna mix it inside of this plastic container and then I'm just gonna pour it right into this knot over the bow ties and just make it look good and just let it sit overnight, sand it in the mornings. So, I was gonna use a walnut panel, but instead I did a limba panel in the inside. So it's all cut, it's ready to go. Installed it, I'm gonna take this out and glue it. Then I'm gonna get all my tracks on, get it onto the nightstand, and get it sliding. So let's get this thing gliding. <laughs>
We're at the conclusion of the video, so we put the nice little oil finish on here. We slapped on a handle, so it looks fantastic. If you guys enjoy these insane types of furniture builds, please drop a like down on this video so we can make more moving into the future. And smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for all of our upcoming builds. And be sure to follow us on all social platforms. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn. And we got to get to the next build, so we're going to roll that outro.